Totally interactive talking tank along turtle bros. So here we are back at the Playmates booth. We are going to be hearing from one of the uh, writers of the original Ninja Turtles that came out before I was even born. So it's going to be fantastic he hearing from him. We're also going to get a chance to take a look at some more of the uh, rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the stuff that's coming out in the future. Let's have a look. I want to thank everybody for coming and welcome to the Playmates showroom for this year at Toy Fair. Obviously, it's a monumental year, 35th anniversary of Ninja Turtles. And you think about how great of a brand Ninja Turtles is, 35 years old. You think of the history from the original comic book that Kevin obviously co-authored to where it's at today with the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and how much it's evolved and really is still relevant, which is amazing. So I'd like to introduce Kevin Eastman, who is here, and he's going to talk a little bit about the history of Turtles and where it started and talk a little bit about the uh, the Nickelodeon's version of Rise Up as well. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Woo! So awesome. I brought all the nice weather, so I'm gonna take credit for the no <laughs> snow, no freeze. Um, so glad you could join us and so thrilled to be here. Uh, some of you, I know some of these friendly faces here. Um, what's amazing to me is that I get to stand here 35 years after Peter and I created the Turtles, still talking about Turtles, and you know why? It's all your fault, every single one of you, and thank you, and thank you, and thank you. Uh, I seriously would not have the best job in all comics if not for your support, your fan, and uh, um, the things that you sort of joined us along the way from every version of the Turtles right up here till we have Rise of the Turtles. How many of you guys have seen the show? Awesome, right? Underworld, awesome. Toys are great. I love it. Um, I don't know if you guys knew that, but knew this, but um, both Tom Wallace and I, who work on the original IDW comic series, we joined Ann and Andy in the creation of. Uh, Rise, we were on board some of the early developments, some of the conceptual stuff, and I think it's such a wonderful series that I think um, we wanted to try some different things, do some different things. I specifically like the look style, and I love the whole mystery, mystical sort of underworld sort of aspect. You guys digging that? Yes? Well, hold on, because there's a lot more of that to come. So, so, um, so yeah, this is it's pretty amazing that it's um, the 35th anniversary of the Turtles. I'm back here. And actually, I was joking with uh, Carl Aronian, who's over here, um, when you know the Turtles first began and we did the premiere of the toys at the, uh, the Toy Trade building. Oh, my goodness, 1988 uh, was the first. 87. 87. 87 yeah. was the first thing. And it's like we've come a long way and we've been blessed so many times over, and that's because we have the best fans in the world. So I appreciate you guys all so very much. Um, I can keep babbling on and on and on. Michelle knows for sure. I talk a lot. Um, well, we like but, hearing you talk. <laughs> do you guys have any specific questions I can I can answer for you? Or what you think? Are you enjoying toy fairs? Do I need a haircut? I think I do. <laughs> My wife says I do. Can't tell with a hat on. <laughs> That's why I bought the probably why I had the hat on. Um, no, but... Uh, um, any questions any? for Kevin? Who's your favorite turtle? Raffinado. <laughs> Leotello. Um, no, no, it's actually it's, it's funny because the um, uh, it's always hard to choose because I feel like they're all my kids, um, both Peter and I as, as the dads. So it's hard to choose a favorite. But Michelangelo, for some of you guys that know some of the history, um, Michelangelo was the first turtle drawn, so I always feel partial to the first form. Um, but we do love them all dearly, very, very dearly. Um, yeah, still, you know. Hard to believe, actually, because you, know, you guys know we're going to be on the Toys That Made Us, right? I think it's coming out. Did anybody know the date yet? I know I just had a rumor it's going to be within the next month. I hope so. I hope so, too. You guys are going to love it, because it actually, uh, um, you know, not only did they cover so many aspects of the history, it was just fun to, um, I went through some of my archives and dug out some of these old pictures to show for them, to scan for it. So I see pictures of me 50 pounds ago and Peter Laird, you know, 50 pounds ago. Back in the day when we were drawing that first issue in the tiny little uh, freezing cold house in Dover, New Hampshire, um, scraping together and borrowing money. That was uh, probably the first form of crowdfunding was uh, for us. Was uh, We got money from our uncle to publish the first issue. Um, but it was in that house and uh, that place 35 years ago that we came up with every different aspect of the turtle story, backstory, and origin. And um, here's a funny anecdote, uh, issue two. You guys know how the shredder was created? You do? Do, do? Shredder came from doing dishes. Seriously. Um, Peter and I, uh, um, where we lived, Peter's wife, Janine, was the greatest cook in the world. She would cook us dinner. We tried to, to make up for awesome cooking. We would do dishes. And so one night, Pete was washing dishes, and I was drying them. 
And you've seen those rectangular cheese graters, the metal ones, right? So I was sliding my hand up inside there to dry the cheese grater, and I sort of would, oh my goodness, could you imagine a bad guy with these little grates on it? He would like literally shred your skin off. And Pete was like, there's our bad guy. We'll call him the shredder. Oh, that's where the shredder came from. From doing right. dishes. So. Oh, and my other bit of tip, you guys know Chuck Lorre? You know what Chuck Lorre is? Do you know he wrote the original theme song for the turtle? He's two and a half men, Big Bang Theory stuff. That was one of his first jobs in Hollywood. He used to write jingles. And, uh, and that was, again, let me see. So 1984, we self-published the first comic book. In 1987, we were, began working with Playmates um, as working up towards the premiere of the, of the show. Because the show's original uh, five episodes came out between Christmas and uh, New Year's, uh, 1987. Uh, but Chuck Lorre wrote the, the theme song. He sent us three different ideas. We chose the one that became the theme song. And, you know, st started it down his path to success. He's done pretty good since then. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, listen, if you guys have any other questions, yeah, I know any other questions? Otherwise, no other, nobody has any other questions. Please feel free to take a look at the uh, turtle lineup for this year. And uh, based on the rise up, take pictures and blog about it. Appreciate all your support, and again, thank you for coming to uh, to Toy Fair. I'm just gonna ask you one thing. There's only two brands in there that will have no photography signs. You're free to shoot everything, but if, please, if you see that. No